trying to reach you on your cell? I don't have it. It gets in the way when I run. What's wrong? Sir, Pacific Command has lost contact with Enterprise Carrier Group. Are they off the coast of Korea? Yes, sir. You're needed in the NMCC. Send someone from my clothes. Let's go. Day, Captain. I've been trying to get back to sea for 40 years. And now, to be here, on the final voyage of the Iowa. 40 years? It's amazing. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the strings I had to pull to get this assignment before they shipped me off to the old sailor's home. <laughs> You've got your 20 years, Woodson. You gonna retire? It's hard to imagine being away from the Iowa. Commanding her has been one of the great honors of my life. But now they're turning her into a museum. Dr. Flynn, I see your signage is coming along well. Thank you. <laughs> it's a tough choice. 
go for your stars, maybe get stuck at a desk, or dare to dream of a different life outside the Navy. Welcome aboard, Admiral. Thank you, Lieutenant. Ladies first. My God, the Navy's changed. Lieutenant Bradley's an intelligence officer just came on board. I'm giving her a ride to her next posting stateside. Oh. Okay, people. Now that the festivities are finally over, let's get back to work. We gotta get this old gal back to World War II configuration before we reach the museum in San Pedro. So, if you see anything designed after 1945, rip it out. Dr. Flynn? I've been meaning to ask, do we really need to finish restoration before San Pedro? Yeah, the Navy's not paying for any of this, Jane. It's all in the museum's dime, so they want us ready as soon as we arrive. That way they can start seeing a return on investment. Seems kind of... I know, but look at it this way. At least we get a nice cruise. <laughs> You're not married. Never been married, never been divorced. Like you said, it's a tough choice. Well, we're gonna have a long cruise for you to do some thinking. Winston, why aren't you sweating? The Admiral, you know a captain never lets the crew see him sweat. Excellent. Captain, all moorings are clear. We are free to navigate. Very well, Mr. Bryant. The logs show that the final voyage of the big stick is underway. Take us out. Fleet acknowledges our departure and requests if we have any contact with the Enterprise Task Force. Compact Fleet has lost contact with the USS Enterprise. Apparently, sir. I tried as well. Satellite handshake is confirmed and everything on our end is okay. Enterprise just isn't responding. We'll keep trying, keep me informed. Hey, Wexter, you're not a surfer yet, man. Get a haircut. Nice, sir. Hey, Captain, we're receiving a distress transmission from Dachong Island. <laughs> We're under attack. Sea launched missiles. No sign of them. That's it. Inform compact. Tell them we're redirecting to Daechang Island to ascertain the situation. Command replies we're to stay our course and alert the Enterprise Task Force to address the situation. Still no response from Enterprise, neither digital nor voice. Elm, this is the captain. Change course for Daechang Island, full ahead. Inform command. Enterprise does not respond. We are proceeding to Daechang Island under captain's discretion. We realize that we're practically unarmed. Chief Rawlings! Shouldn't you be concentrating on the task at hand? I might need to take something else at hand any second now. Defense Department's not paying you to ogle girls, sailor. They're not paying us to babysit a floating museum either, sir! Yeah. Yeah. Team Six gets all the glory. What are we gonna do way the hell out here? Changing course. Careful what you wish for, Anderson. Booyah! Booyah! 
General Quarters, General Quarters. All air command and battle stations. Senior officers to the bridge. Dr. Flint to the bridge, please. Set condition zebra throughout the ship. General Quarters. Hi, right, people, listen up. Until we know what's going on, I'm gonna ask Dr. Flint and her crew to stop with their museumification. Looks like the big stick may have one final mission after all. Hopefully it's just a communication malfunction. Sir, North Korea has recently... Lieutenant. I realize with all the festivities going on, this may seem like a pleasure cruise. And you're new with us, so I'll take it easy on you. But this is not a think tank at naval intelligence. This is a military vessel. And it is traditional that the crew that was on board wait for the captain to finish speaking. Yes, sir. Very well. What does naval intelligence have for us? Sir, North Korea stepped up their military training exercises in the past week. Naval activity has also been ramped up, and Daechung Island has been disputed territory. It's one of the closest South Korean islands to the north. So we're potentially sailing into a tinderbox? Yes, sir. Understood. Comms, any news from Daechung or the Enterprise? No, sir. Commander Juarez. I trust our SEALs are ready, willing, and able if we need them? Always, sir. Admiral Acton, a word, please. Dismissed. Get to your duty stations. Captain, this ship is in no condition for combat or anything else. It's a museum. Just report to fleet and let's go home. Sir, command is not in contact with you. Look out, reports. The island's in sight. Son of a... Con West, missile inbound. There. Weapons, activate phalanx. Is that a ship? They're coming through. Change the high frequency targeting. Looks like they were standard Korean SSN-2A anti-ship missiles. Weapons, give me two harpoons aimed right at the center of that ship. Bearing 315. Harpoons, coming online. Winston, you're going to start a war. You can't fire on the North Koreans without approval from the president. Con Webs, targeting lot. What they just did was an act of war. Fire! <laughs> reports that the Chinese have been developing low observables and active camouflage. It's possible we may have just seen the first active field test. Giving it to the North Koreans would allow the Chinese to maintain deniability. But it didn't just disappear from the radar. You're telling me that the, the Chinese have developed a cloaking device? It is possible, sir. Weapons. Target the five-inch guns on your last confirmed position. Fire spread. Get me through to the Pentagon. Aye, sir. Weapons, where's my five-inch guns? Five-inch guns weren't initially manned. They're targeting now. The Iowa's not a museum yet, people. Do your jobs. We are undermanned for combat. Gunner's report ready, sir. All right. Fire. systems are down, and that includes the intercom. Webster, move the base at Incheon. If SATCOM doesn't work, try single sideband. Some sort of EMP? It had to be. It looks like all our circuit boards are <laughs> fried. I'm gonna send repair crews down to check for spares, but right now we can't even communicate with the rest of our ship. Including the guns. So we're setting ducks. Get a runner down to five-inch guns. Fire that spread. Captain. Not now, Doctor. Captain, the air comms works. The what? One of the very first systems we restored was the voice-powered telephone. You can call the gunners, engineering, almost any place on the ship. Thank you, Doctor. 
Look out, this is the captain. Look out. I want you to scan the water for any disturbances. Like a wake with no ship causing. Yes, sir. Con, look out. Possible sighting. We're at 38 degrees, 5,000 yards. Get now to the Pacific. Helm heading 352. Pull ahead. Belay that order. Shouldn't we render aid to the island and alert the fleet about the stealth ship? We're in no condition for combat. Admiral, with all due respect. This is a museum, not a warship. It's a USS Iowa. It's the most powerful warship ever built, sir. My apologies, sir, but that ship could launch an attack on any of our forces without warning. It may have taken out the Enterprise already. It represents a clear and present danger to the security of the United States, and at this very moment, it's getting away. If we lose sight of its wake, we may never find it again on the open sea. You want to leave me with my command? Do it. But if you don't, I'm going after it. I'm going to find out who sent it and what it's doing. I don't know. Captain, if you do this and it goes wrong, it could mean your career. It's on your head. Don't you see what that ship represents? The Koreans, the Chinese, if they're making a move and it goes wrong, it's on all our hands. Resume pursuit course, full speed. Somebody get me a damn radio working. Weapons. Prepare the five-inch guns to fire widespread along our heading. Commander, we've lost our high-tech toys. Station additional lookouts. If we can't hit this damn thing, maybe we can scare it at an increasing speed and leave a more visible wake. When we get lucky, we splash some water against this hull. We see that. Aye, aye, sir. Fire! Still no contact with any ship from the Enterprise Group, and there have now been missile strikes reported in three locations in South Korea. One civilian, two military. None of this makes any goddamn sense. North Koreans don't have anything that could take out an entire carrier group. Anything from the Allied forces or NATO. Nothing yet, sir, but it is the middle of the night in Europe. And who do the Koreans say is shooting at them? As if I didn't know. Actually, sir, they can't give us any confirmation on that right yet. Um, they've lost contact with their first recon flight. The first place hit was Daechong Island. It's along the border with North Korea. The Iowa was proceeding to investigate. The Iowa? <laughs> She's a damn museum. What did they report? We never got a follow-up, sir. Get one. Alert the 8th Fighter Wing at Kunsan Air Base. Let's get an AWACS flight with escort. Find out what the hell's going on over there. Damn Koreans. Don't they know the whole world holds its breath every time they start shooting at each other? General, we have the command.
commanding officer at Kunsan Naval Station in South Korea. Pentagon, this is Jin Hai Station. We are under attack by sea-launched missiles. Every plane we've launched has lost power as they crossed the shoreline. We had no warning at all. Commander? Commander! They stopped transmitting, sir. Get our commander, Jin Hai Naval Station. No contact, sir. Contact the USS Iowa in South Korea. Major, take us to DEFCON 3. Wake the Secretary of Defense. Cease fire. We don't have enough ammunition to keep it up. Exactly. What's the bad news? Captain, Chief Engineer Thomas reports that all electrical systems on board are in complete disrepair. And that includes comm, radar, and all computer-controlled weaponry. Every integrated circuit on board is fried, and that includes the ones in storage. The only reason we can still run and steer is Iowa's so old that those basic systems are mechanical and not drive-by-wire. Glad we're not on a new dealer's hub, sir. And I have Lieutenant Commander Juarez here. And he would like to present a plan for a seal up. Take over for me. Welcome me. I'm surprised they haven't fired back. They don't want to give away their position. As long as they stay hidden, we deplete our resources, they can fire back at any time. Maybe we need to play small ball, sir. Instead of going for the home run. You got a plan, Juarez? If you get out there and I'm Mark 5, you'd be low to the water, moving faster than they possibly could. They'll spot the little signs of water splashing off their hole, what have you. Then we board and take control of their vessel. We'd be sitting ducks. What about a smaller team in the rib? All the benefits less of a target. We are, sir. All right. Prep your men. Prepare for action. Be ready on my command. Dr. Flynn, I thought I told you to stop your work. Well, you're going to be happy I didn't. Dr. Flynn, I know you're a civilian, but if you can't show proper military respect in front of my crew, I can't have you on the bridge. Sorry, Captain, but you will be happy. This is a shortwave radio built in 1944. If Mr. Wexler can give me 12 volts DC and a lead to your masthead antenna, I think I can get you back in touch with well, whoever you need to talk to. Why wasn't this fried with the other electronics? And there are no integrated circuits in here, just soldered connections and vacuum tubes. We'd already restored it, and since it wasn't powered up when the EMP, or whatever it was, hit, it was fine. Very good, Doctor. Mr. Wexler! Give the doctor here whatever she needs. I think I can be a lot of help if you'll just let me. Sir. We don't salute indoors, Doctor. General McCracken, I have a briefing for the President in six minutes. What the hell is going on? Mr. Secretary, we received a report from the USS Iowa that Daechang Island in South Korea was under attack, presumably by the North. We've now confirmed multiple missile attacks against the ROK. We've lost contact with the Iowa and all our coastal bases in Korea. And satellites are showing a debris field in the last known position of the Enterprise Carrier Group. How is that possible? Honestly, sir, we just don't know yet. But if I had to guess, I'd say they use some sort of EMP weapon along with conventional missiles. Given the location, I say the enemy is at sea. Ships are submarines. 
Aren't our military systems hardened against electromagnetic pulse? And wouldn't an EMP cover a wide area, not a specific target? And while we're at it, General, wouldn't you need a nuclear weapon to create an EMP? You haven't missed North Korea setting off a nuclear weapon, have you, General? Get me some damn answers. Compact Fleet Pearl Harbor, this is USS Iowa. Captain, Pearl was a bust. Maybe they got EMP too. We reached the NMCC, but they won't talk to us without your identity codes. Guess they're not used to their warships reporting in on that open channel we haven't used in 50 years. National Military Command, this is Iowa Actual. Do you copy? Iowa Actual, stand by to confirm identity codes on my mark. Yes, Mr. President, I concur. Thank you, sir. Well, based on the report from the Iowa, the President has demanded that North Korea cease their attack or face retaliation. Of course, the damn Koreans are claiming it's not them. And the Chinese ambassador has informed us that if we attack their ally, China will be obligated to respond. Somehow, I wasn't expecting World War III when I woke up this morning. A stealth ship with an EMP weapon. What can this thing do to us? That's what has me worried. Our military systems are hardened against a normal EMP, but this thing keeps getting through somehow. So far, it's only been deployed and used over water, so we can assume a limited range. But almost all of our weapons depend on integrated circuits at some point. Planes, subs, hell, even Hummers. What about ICBMs? Yes, sir. Even those. And on the course that Captain Winston indicated, that ship's headed for either Pearl Harbor or California. I'd like to suggest a backup plan. We could launch several flights of B-2s with nuclear payloads, send them off in different directions. One group could fly over the North Pole. They'd be over land or ice the whole way to North Korea or China. I can't believe we are even talking about this. All right, General. It's authorized. But you order Captain Winston to apprehend that ship they're following by any means necessary. We need to confirm their nationality before all hell breaks loose. Take us to DEFCON 2. Satellites confirm the destruction of the entire Enterprise group. Every plane, every ship that's been sent out has been disabled by the same anti-electronics weapon that hit us. The North Koreans are denying any involvement, but at the present time, they're our primary suspect. This stealth ship that we're pursuing may be our only lead. We must find it. We must stop it before international tensions rise any further. Right now, we are the best chance at stopping an all-out war. Now, I know none of you were expecting to see combat this tour, but I am confident that the Iowa remains one of the best ships in the Navy. And that you are the best crew. We must do our duty. We must do our best. You must not fail. That is all. Tell Commander Juarez his mission to go. Aye, aye, sir. Send me Lieutenant Bradley. Aye, sir.
Reporting as ordered, Captain. What have you got for me? Sir? This whole thing, it doesn't feel right. Yes, sir. And even if the Koreans had a weapon like this, they wouldn't think they'd win an all-out escalation. I mean, President Kim isn't that crazy, is he? <laughs> He's batshit crazy, sir. But I don't think the North Koreans would have a stealth rowboat if the Chinese didn't design and build it for them. So they're making a move? I always thought they'd call in their loans and take us over by default. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Chinese, it certainly is supposed to look like them. If I could just get my hands on that video. Video? As soon as you took us to general quarters, about a dozen video cameras started recording. If we were on a modern ship, there'd be about 100 recording HD to disc. And they'd all be lost by now. Exactly. But I always just got plain old VHS. If I could just get my hands on a working deck, analyze the video of the ship before it disappeared, maybe I could get you some answers. Well, why don't you catch up with Dr. Flynn and see if she's got a video recorder powered by a rubber band? Yes, sir. Caroline. I thought we'd have more time. This was supposed to be a pleasure cruise. <laughs> You're not going to get all sappy and say you don't know how you'd live with yourself if anything ever happened to me. Are you old man? That's old man, sir. It's going to take more than World War III to get me away from you, sir. Listen up. Since all our usual toys are toast, we're gonna have to tag the ship with a shitload of these. Bust another wetsuit, Johnson? <laughs> Andrew Juarez, we managed to find a real camera. We only got one roll of film, so you get 36 shots. If you can't take the ship, at least get me some evidence. Okay, Lieutenant, I'll bring you back something for the cover of Time magazine. Do that. What I wouldn't give for some night, man. We're on the last little heading. Just keep your eyes open. They're out here somewhere. Sir. We can't risk the rest of the team at this time. We'll wait for a better opportunity. But, sir, if we lose track Dismissed, of the race. Lieutenant. Yes, sir.
We lucked out. These cameras hadn't been replaced with digital, and Dr. Flynn's people hadn't gotten around to replacing them yet. This first shot is as we approached. They just fired on the island. You can see the strange angles designed to foil radar. And there are no cranes, no railings, no gun turrets. It looks a little like this ship, this uh, Navy was developing a stealth ship, but we couldn't make it invisible. I mean, this, this is amazing. Yes, but this panel here looks like it could be right off a North Korean Najin class frigate. And this one here could be from a Chinese Ludo class destroyer. It's almost as if under the cloak, the ship is made of spare parts. That makes less sense than anything else. The next shot is as they fired the second missile, and the third one is right after they disappeared. I think they have to become visible to fire their weapons. Well, no, that would make sense. That would explain why they disappeared. They didn't want to make a target for the guns. Huh. Now, I'd have to see the video to confirm this with more certainty, but from these photos, I would say the whole ship is covered in some sort of LCD panel, and it's projecting an image of what's around it. So when you look at it, it seems to disappear. Well, what about the weapon that disabled our electronics? Definitely an EMP of some sort, but it's targeted. It's clearly focused. So it wipes out what it wants, and then it, and it leaves everything else? Yes, but it must have a limited range. Only targets on or near the water were affected, and our satellites were fine, too. Well, the big stick's still fighting. But if this is Chinese and they have that advantage, command is going to want a first nuclear strike. And then they'll nuke us. Could the Chinese really be that far ahead? I would have said no. But, but there it is. Don't worry. I'm not going to let World War III start on my watch. Find that ship. Funky ass naval architects. It doesn't look like any Korean ship I've ever seen. No, they don't look like nothing I've ever seen before. I got the chatter. Standard formation. More. Lots of pictures. Let's move out.
Are you sure we're gonna find it down here? No, but I've been digging through the ship for weeks and it's like archaeology. The lower I go, the older equipment I find. A VCR built before integrated circuits is pretty old, so. Yeah, but why would it be in the engine room? I've been finding things in the strangest places, Lieutenant. Caroline. What? You're a civilian, call me Caroline. The captain read me the right act about protocol. Yeah, he's like that. Seeing people as sailors instead of people makes it easier for him to make hard decisions sometimes. I bet he never thought he'd be making any hard decisions on this cruise. Just one. What? Just call me Caroline. It's uh, nice to hear my name once in a while. You got it. You can call me Dr. Flynn. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm Julia. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, Julia. Thanks. Hey. How do you know? The strangest places. Before the buildup is unknown, but tensions throughout the peninsula and even into China have ratcheted up in the last few hours. The Pentagon has refused to comment. This is Matthew Valentine reporting. We're not going to be able to keep a lid on this much longer. The Koreans are starting to panic. And Seoul wants to know why we're not defending them. Everything we've sent up is either lost power or been shot down. There must be more than one of those stealth ships out there. The president warned the Koreans to stop their attacks or face total destruction. And they're still denying everything. And the Chinese are claiming that we're fabricating the whole damn thing as an excuse to invade. What worries me is I can't see their end game. They've got to know that what they're doing is going to provoke a response. It already has. On the president's orders, tell the B-2s to arm their nukes. Where are they now? The east and westbound sorties are headed out over the Atlantic and the Pacific. So far, so good. The northbound group will be over land, except for crossing the Arctic. Korea's my ass! That's a damn Martian! Commander! You may be crazy, but these patterns, I think this is a schematic. I mean, some sort of, uh, you are here kind of thing. Look, we've been moving along here. Every time we come to an intersection, they change. Son of a bitch, please right. It looks like most of the routes lead there. But that's the bridge. There's something else important. Maybe we can take it out. All right, break off. We head this way. Rollins, white intersection. <laughs> Venusian. Careful, Rollins. No buttons, no trigger, no nothing. All right, come on. We move out. for a ground invasion of North Korea within the hour. Yes, sir.
much longer is this going to take? Almost done. Can't believe you found something this old down here. Old? Another weekend I would have thrown this thing out. We didn't have VCRs in World War II. Julia, how does somebody your age become a World War II battleship expert? My grandfather served on the Iowa during the campaign for the Marshall Islands. He was aboard when they shelled Guam. When I was little, we used to make plastic models of her. How about you? How did you get to be a naval intelligence specialist? Well, I always loved solving mysteries, searching for clues, and I was a political science major, so. Theo and I recruited me right out of college. I think you got something. Winston, why don't I hear any guns? We've got to destroy that ship. The president's launched B-2s with nukes, and China's threatening to attack if we defend South Korea. Admiral, doesn't something seem strange here? We haven't gotten a clear shot of them, right? We've only seen glimpses of what we think is their way. They could have fired on us at any time, and they haven't. Maybe those were the only missiles they had, and now they're running scared. We're here, we've got to act. I think something else is going on, sir. I hope you know what you're doing. Captain, I was wondering if you'd reconsider a rescue mission. Sir, Lieutenant Wars is one of the smartest, toughest SOBs I know. Don't give up on him. There's not going to be a rescue mission. But, sir, we're Lieutenant, gonna... I need you to prep your men for another assault. An assault? We're going to give you all the cover we can. I understand. We'll be ready, sir. ready, sir. Let's see it. Must be the tracking. That's it. Nothing. It has to be visible to fire its missiles. We already knew that. Uh, I'll try to analyze it. Maybe uh, if I just had a working computer. Hey, I mean... good work. All of you. Just because there's nothing there, it's not your fault. In this provoked attack, the United States has once again shown its designs on world domination. North Korea will not allow this act of war to stand. This is going to get out of control. Captain, the Pentagon said we didn't attack their base. If we didn't, who did? Unless that ship isn't North Korean. Look out, Khan. Port all contacts. No contact with the sun, Captain. Possible disturbance in the water. Weapons and my five inch guns manned and ready. Standing by, sir. SEAL team, go. Weapons, forward five inch guns. Bearing three, five, two degrees. Range, 2,000 yards. Fire spread. Boats. 
Weapon. Good shooting. It's a glove. You did it. Not enough. What? It's not enough debris. Oldest trick in the book right out of Submarine Warfare 101 and I fell for it. And now they got in the way. No! Bodies! Oh my god, what happened to them? Rollins. More. Juarez. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. He's still alive. Corman! How's he, Dr. Miller? Honestly, he shouldn't be alive. He's burned over 95% of his body, some sort of radiation exposure. I've never seen anything like it. I've got him on a morphine drip for pain, but he can't last much longer. Has he said anything? Can I talk to him? You can try, sir, but he's been delirious. You're not gonna address that? It really wouldn't help. What is? What happened? My friends. Domingo. Domingo, what happened? What is that? Jesus. He must have cut himself open just to hide that. Navy SEAL. Oh yeah. Terrestrial. Mr. Secretary, I know you don't know me, but General McCracken can vouch for me. I think can tell you that I'm a pretty level-headed man. Listen, Captain, I don't doubt your word. Could this whole thing be a put-up? Well, that's what I thought up until now. I mean, it didn't make sense. Why would the Koreans or the Chinese plan an attack like this? And think about it, sir. If you wanted to take over the world, why launch a big invasion? Just get us to blow each other to hell. All right, Captain. I'm going to confer with the President. I'll get back to you. But in the meantime, find that ship. Little green men? Sir, what are they going to do with a planet that's been nuked? Maybe they need radiation. Who knows what kind of environment would evolve creatures this like this? It's all conjecture. We've got World War III about to start, and neither side knows why. What we got to do is find that ship, and we got to prove it. Look out. Calm. Contact. No contacts at this time, Captain. But, but, sir. Go ahead. I just don't believe it, Captain. I was scanning the whole time we're in the debris field. I don't believe even an invisible ship 
could have gotten on that like some sort of disturbance. I would have seen it, sir. I would have seen something. Let's hope you're right, sailor. It's the fate of the entire world depends on. Weapons. Give me a spread on the five-inch guns. From 270 degrees to 90 degrees, try 10,000 yards. Fire will. can't risk standing down those bombers until we know for sure. If these weapons are Korean or Chinese, we need to hit them first before they take out our forces. Captain, if you want to avoid World War III, then you need to capture that alien ship. We're working on that, sir. What kind of help are you sending? We're sending you a carrier task force with every plane we could scrounge up. Sir, they'll be disabled by that same EMP weapon. That's just it, Captain. They've been working around the clock in Pearl. These are ships out of the Mothball fleet and planes from every museum and air show on the West Coast. There isn't an integrated circuit the whole fleet. The cavalry is on its way. Julia, come on! Oh, we're in trouble. Don't worry, the ship can take a hell of a pounding. They took out an entire modern carrier group. The ship is 75 years old. Our modern Navy relies on high-tech weaponry for defense. They didn't have that stuff in World War II. The, the Iowa is the, the most heavily armored ship ever built. If it had been the Iowa instead of the USS Cole, that Al-Qaeda attack would have barely scratched the paint. The Japanese hit her twice when my grandfather was aboard, and she still sailed through a typhoon without injury. So as long as they don't use their phasers, we'll be okay. Hopefully. There! Six 
Where the hell is that cavalry? Radio is still down, sir. Wexler and Flynn are working on it, but they may not have the parts that they need. Most of the fires are out. Repairs have begun shipwide. Propulsion and maneuverability remain unaffected. Lieutenant Bradley, I hope we got some good news. We just might. The stealth ship we boarded was much smaller than the first one. And it was fully automated. It was really just a stealth missile platform. A drone. Basically. The maps in these photos seem to indicate a whole fleet of drones positioned at key spots around the world. I think they're disguised as military ships, firing their EMP and their weapons trying to provoke another war. How's that good news? The first ship we boarded wasn't a drone. I think it's controlling the rest of the ships. If we destroy that ship, we destroy the drones. Too bad we don't have an EMP that work on them. Captain! I don't think we can repair the radio again. But once the fleet gets here, surely they'll be bringing you communications here. Question of timing, Doctor. Each side suspects the other side. Each side thinks that the best way to protect themselves is the first strike. It's like our old Cold War nightmare. It's coming back to roost. It's probably exactly what they're counting on. What we need to do is stop this ship without getting destroyed ourselves before the nukes start falling. Weapons! Weapons! Is it possible to use the harpoons? Even though their brains are fried, just as a point and shoot. No, sir. There'd be no way to aim them. I'm not sure they'd even flush it with other guided systems. They're out there somewhere, running. What we need is a point and shoot weapon with more range and more bang for the buck. There's a reason they call this the big stick. Maybe what we need to do is stop walking so softly. Sir, those guns haven't been fired in over 20 years. They don't even make shells for them anymore. Dr. Flynn, this is the most heavily armed ship in the history of the world, isn't it? Yes, it is. And your museum people, they wanted her fully restored by the time we hit port, correct? Yes, they did. Now, my weapons officer said there's no shells in the magazine. Tell me, Dr. Flynn, are there 16-inch shells aboard my ship? Yes, sir. Yes, there are. Weapons. Sir. Prepare to fire the big guns. Two's are crossing the Arctic now. If the enemy is in position to hit them with the EMP, we'll know soon. What's happening in the Pacific? The fleet should rendezvous with the Iowa in a few hours, but no further word from Captain Winston. So the president has six hours before he has to make the final call on the attack. Yeah. For the first time in my life, I'm glad I'm not the president. Nine? No, that's not it. A310? No, next one. A311? Yes, that's one. Try right, that one. Let's go. Go. Be careful. Go. Okay, the next five crates should be more of the same. Okay, team. Hazardous protocol alpha. Let's not blow ourselves up before the Klingons do. Want to see me? Lieutenant, I think we may have something that'll give you a fighting chance against those energy weapons. These suits are lead-lined. You want me to dress up like the Tin Man? Watch us stay alive. Gunfire? No. You? Oh, yeah. First Gulf War, I was on the New Jersey. Fresh out the academy. You sound like God's own thunder, let me tell you that. What's that whole thing about the ship recording sideways? 
That's a myth. It's just the pressure of the guns exerting against the water. I didn't know that. Well, I think I'll get back to my duties. Hey, G. Listen, just in case, evacuate the fore deck. Everyone but the gun crews before we fire. Aye, aye, Captain. Something tells me we're not keeping our secret as well as we thought. Oh, geez, my executive officer. Not a lot going on around the ship that he doesn't know about. Let's just try to keep it from old man Hollis until the end of the cruise. If we make it to the end. Lady, I'm gonna marry you. Whether I have to fight World War III, whoop ass on some aliens, babysit museum curators, whatever I gotta do. You understand that, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Lieutenant. Sir. Did you have something to report? If they haven't been shot down over the Arctic, the B-2s will be in position to nuke China and North Korea in six hours. have reached their IP. Every second they hold increases the chances of the Chinese spotting them. This is a phone call I never thought I'd have to make. This is Secretary of Defense Alter. Get me the president. Mr. 
President, it's time. Damn it, Alter. I'm not ready to unleash Armageddon. Tell the bombers to hold and find a way to get in touch with the Iowa. new targets believed to be prototype Chinese stealth bombers. Just picked up. ETA West Coast, two hours. Bridge, we're down to 50% munitions remaining. There you are. Weapon, reload all barrels and stand by. Target one barrel, 23 degrees, same range. We want to disable and capture them, not destroy them, we need proof. President, we can't wait any longer. Still no word from the Iowa? Or the fleet? No, sir. And we have to assume that Captain Winston has failed. And every second our bombers circle, they risk detection. And the Chinese planes are only hours out. God help us. Secretary Alter. Authorization. Victor, Zulu, Alpha, Romeo. Take us to DEFCON 1. Start the bomb run.
Target the smaller ships. Lower main guns, fire at will. the drones we have the proof sir but you can't send me that proof can you no sir we cannot sir you need to take my word for this those ships are not korean they're not chinese they are not of this earth please call off this right captain winston i'm going to order our bombers into a holding pattern and call the chinese premier but without any proof it's going to be hard to convince him to turn his planes around Captain! Look! It's taking off! It's the mothership! That's the last one! somewhat radioactive. We're okay for now, but we should isolate the remains until they can be more thoroughly examined. So they were trying to get us to nuke our little planet. It wasn't quite sizzling enough for them. There were only a few soldiers on that ship. Did they really need to nuke the whole planet? Maybe they were scouts. A team sent out to prepare new planets in advance of colonization. 
Looks like they won't get a chance to do that now. This is an incredible opportunity to... <laughs> see what a real sailor can do. How'd you like your first taste of the sea? Oh, I'm going to retire to Iowa. As far from the sea as I can get. Ready for the grand opening tour, Mr. Winston? I am indeed. Mrs. Winston. Oh, should I call you Lieutenant Commander? Let's stick with my name. I waited long enough for you to be able to say it. I know it's sort of sad to think they fill the up with some It would be sad. If it were true. Admiral. No, just mister. I'm retired. Just like the Iowa. But old sailors never really retire, do they? The Navy made a few special requests, let's say. The guns were never immobilized. Everything still works. They even produced more 16-inch shells. Just for historical accuracy, of course. Well, I'm glad the old girl still carries a big stick. Yeah. But me? I've done my part for king and country. You say so. Oh, no. I say so. <laughs> you still have to wonder, though. Yeah, I wonder what? Whether the aliens managed to send a distress signal before you destroyed them. 